Okay, hey guys, I'm back to colors. Um, I totally forgot I could turn off this um, washed out log effect on my camera and just have it filmed in the auto color mode, but yeah. Um, a few disclaimers before I start the video. Uh, I'm still in China. Um, there will be certain things that I cannot dig um, too deep into. So please understand my situation. I don't even know what to think about this country anymore. I don't even know how to feel about this country anymore, you know? And some people are still trying to tell me like, Oh, you should love the country. You should love this. You should love that. You should embrace. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to embrace? And I am indeed um, risking myself to film videos like this, especially um, on YouTube for you guys. But I just really think it's very important for someone like me to talk about things that I'm going to talk about, that I've been talking about. If you guys haven't watched my previous um, two videos. Anyway, let's start the video. This whole video is gonna be all over the place. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to come down. Um, I'm gonna try to slow down and film this video. We all know a lot of things happened in China during COVID time. If you guys don't know much, um, I'll link a video up here. It's a video of me um, sharing the whole situation. Um, it was very... Um, Okay, um, please remember that I'm risking myself to post videos like this, to make videos like this. And I have to be very careful with the words that I say. I don't even know what to think about So COVID time in China ended around um, November, December in 2022. And um, in 2023, which was last year, um, Chinese people were really celebrating Halloween like big time. Um, we had different people cosplaying the people they were not supposed to cosplay. It, it was so fun and ironic at the same time. Halloween seemed to be the only day of the year when Chinese people could celebrate and express themselves and their minds, you know, their creativities. Um, especially for people like me who are suffering from political depression. Last year's Halloween really cured um, some of us at some level. And since last year, I had this uh, worry about China banning, you know, the whole thing because, you know, Halloween is like a Western festival, right? It was never like a, like a Chinese thing. And that was like the perfect excuse to ban the whole thing. But this year, um, China was like, last year you guys have done too much. This year we're not gonna let you guys do anything. Literally anything in Shanghai. To be honest, it wasn't... Ooh, the sun is coming out. Okay. Um, the sun, the sunlight um, always makes me feel better. Um, I'm living in a place where I literally get no sunlight. So this is like... <sighs> okay. So right now on YouTube, um, there are some clips flying around um, where we can see that the, the, the police were trying to um, control the people, take away the people if they ever find out like, you know, some people are, you know, trying to do the cosplay thing. And to me, it's just like you can't even let people have that one day to express themselves, to like, you know, you, you cannot even have one day just one day for people to do that. When I saw the news on Instagram, I was like, I don't even know what to think about this country anymore. I don't even know how to feel about this country anymore, you know? Being someone who's born here, experiencing all this. And some people are still trying to tell me like, oh, you should love the country. You should love this. You should love that. You should embrace. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to embrace? It's like every time when people are trying to talk good things about China, it's always the economy. But like, what else can we, you know, like, you cannot just develop a country by only talking about money and controlling people like this. Like I have to be very, very careful with the words I say because I'm gonna put it online. Every time when I make a video, you know, I, I get anxiety attack because I don't know if they're, if they're gonna knock on my door the next day, if, if they're gonna do anything to me, like if I'm gonna disappear forever. And I just have to hold so much anger inside me right now because I am just not in a place to to spill it all out, you know what I mean? So, I saw the news on Instagram 
I posted all my WeChat moments. I wasn't really writing anything like crazy, like so something that's like, oh my god, like I'm so angry, like how can you do that? No. The only sentence I wrote was true horror. Halloween in Shanghai is officially banned. That was it. You guys can see. That was the only thing I wrote. And as you can see here, no like, no comment. And my post would always get, you know, quite some likes. And for this post, no like, no comment. And I was like, hmm. So I asked a few friends. I asked them like, hey, um, can you see my WeChat post? You know? And um, my friend said, yeah. He said the post he saw was my Stanley Cup because um, the post before I made that Halloween post was me talking about my talking about my Stanley Cup. At that moment, I knew, okay, he didn't see the Halloween post. And I sent him a screenshot of my actual post, my actual WeChat moments. And there was that Halloween post that was never seen by others. And I even asked in a few public groups. I was like, hey, I assume like no one could see my post. And people were like, cannot see it, cannot see it, cannot see it. Only the users outside of China who are using WeChat were able to see my post which was ironic ironic like this is censorship this is how it works in China Chinese people will never see the truth of so many things they have a way to somehow identify who you are where you are you know and what you post and they're not gonna delete your post on your moments, but they, they can they can hide it from others. So this way it doesn't trigger you right away, but still nobody could see what you're posting. And that's how they control people. I was just like <sighs> I mean it's really nothing new, okay? But still, it's just every time when it happens. <sighs> I'm still like, especially right now, I'm having like very serious um, depression issue. Like, I'm, you know, lately I've been joking um, with my friends. I was like, you know, the only thing I'm trying to do now is not to kill myself. And you know the funnier thing that happened right after that? So I'm just, you know, trying to find like things to do. I'm trying to improve myself. I'm trying to study new things, you know, and one of the things that I've been uh, studying is this like, Chinese course. I mean, it's not Chinese language, but like uh, it's this course in Chinese about um, like project management, company policies, um, like how the internet works in China and some laws. Um, it, it's, it's a very complex um, course. It's for training people to have better understanding about how China works and how, you know, Chinese systems works, whether it's like online or offline. So by taking this course, you can become a better uh, project manager or uh, monitor in, in, in China. Um, that's what the course is for. So I'm, I've been taking that course. It's very different in the West. And I had a lesson in that afternoon right after I found out like my post was censored. During that lesson, the teacher happened to be explaining how how information uh, on the internet works and what kind of people have the access to what sort of information, blah, blah, blah. Um, let me just play the clip right now and I'm gonna put a translation um, somewhere down here. Uh, 底层人民啊，还是上层人民啊，他都都能收到这个讲信息传播的平等化。然后第二个呢，是我们说的社会生活权。Listen to what she says. The people up there are doing crazy shit, and and yet you are in the class teaching people that it's all equal. It's all the same. We all receive the same message. Like it's all like you know transparent. Um, like what they hear will be exactly the same as what we hear and that's how like information works in China that's how the internet works in China like excuse you I'm 
going I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy by just 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 having to eat shit like this every fucking single day. And I can't even talk about it. This video is going to be all over the place. I know that. Um it's very emotional. I know that. Some people were like, isn't that risky for you to make videos like this? Yes, it is. And yes, I know that. Of course, I know that. I said this in the very beginning of the video. But the thing is, my depression is eating me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like if I don't even try to risk myself to make videos and post them on YouTube, I'm just really gonna commit suicide one day. At least if I do it this way, and if I'm gone one day, or my channel is like, completely erased from the internet one day at least people would know what happened to me at least at least people would know what happened to a lot of chinese who are living in china so yeah that's pretty much what happened this week um other cities are somehow celebrating it but um i don't know how long it's gonna last to be honest like if this can happen in shanghai i don't have hopes for other cities in china and at this point, it, it's 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 more than just about you know the LGBT group or the expat group facing discriminations in China. It's not even about these two groups of people anymore. It's it's like you know like anybody can become a victim. Like you just never know. You never know. One day you do something that's offensive to them. And you don't even know what triggers them. Like, I may be okay filming, filming videos like this. I may survive. Or I may be gone tomorrow. My channel could be gone tomorrow. I would never know. And every day, when I have this channel, when I make videos like this, every day I have to worry if they're gonna knock on my door the next day. And I'm, I'm really trying my best to only share about the minor things um, that I'm going through. But sometimes it's just... You just can't control it. It just can't. You just you you know like you you just have to let it out. The worst case for me is just to die. I guess if you wanna support me, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe I always enjoy talking to you guys. Reading your comments always cheer me up. But one thing I have to say right now is um, I'll never delete my channel. So if one day my channel is completely gone, you should know what happened to me. See you guys in the next one.